So if we are lengthening a crotch curve, why don't we just make it longer up here? Yes, that will make it higher waisted and it won't give you room down here in the curve between the legs, which is where you're going to need the curve or you're going to need the extra. So a slash method, we are going to start from somewhere between the hip line and the crotch line and just make a note of where you want to come into that and about the same place down the thigh line where you cut your seam in the back. And then just pick a point somewhere in the middle. It's kind of unilateral and it's not gonna really matter. And we're gonna connect those two points. So you've just made a diamond. By the way, anybody who's interested in their lower body project to have a crotch gusset in their lower body project, this is the same way you develop a diamond gusset in the crotch area. You determine how much that you want to gusset. You draw that on your pattern. You cut that out. You reseam allowance the pants, reseam allowance the gusset. This becomes your gusset. Same deal. Okay. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut in from the uh, crotch line. And this is slash method. So we're going to cut all the way down to this pivot point all the way down to here and we need a relief cut here <clears throat> and some filler paper once again we're doing half inch and we're doing half inch right along the crotch line so we would just spread that a half an inch I'm not sure where my ruler went. Oh, there it is. So I just spread it half an inch on the crotch line. Now you can see we're kind of jacked up here. My crotch lines don't meet anymore. My seam allowances don't meet anymore. My crotch line is higher than it was to start with. So I'm gonna to have to redraw this crotch line to be able to make this longer, which means these two lines are no, no longer gonna be applicable. So I know the shape of the original crotch line. I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna draw down this crotch line and I'm just gonna continue down this crotch line until I hit the original crotch corner. And then I'm going to continue my seam allowance until I hit the original seam allowance. That means this line is no longer relevant. This line is no longer relevant. This line is going to get cut off. I'm going to need to extend my crotch line. This is no longer relevant. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off the pink paper. You still have a really serious curve right here. You may need to smooth that out a little or you can leave it until you see it in fabric and see what it's actually gonna look like and how that's gonna affect you. This is number 17 for a prominent pubic area. It's a plus half inch correction. This is the slash method. It is a pant front. Size 10, half scale. And my name's already on it. 